Usually you send players off for a scan in a taxi, you're sending a minibus full of them <laughs> this time. Uh, I said last week, if you didn't have bad luck, you'd have no luck at all. Uh, explain for the people who may not have read it, but more injury woes, I think. Yes, <laughs> contact ones as well, so because it, it is what it is, mate. It, this is not about a manager or, or tactical or, or... When your players are injured, players are injured, and, and that is part of football. It makes us weaker, obviously. Doesn't make us any stronger. We have players injured. Um, my players' attitude, my players' determination. I spoke to the board this morning and yesterday, and we were talking about how pleased with, with the positivity of the players and how hard they're working, the ones who are available, and they're giving everything. And we look at the XGs, most of the XGs in the games we're playing, and we should be winning. So it's not like we're losing the dominance of the game for the lack of players that we have. We're still dominating the game. We're just not taking chances or putting the ball away when it needs to happen. And when they seem to go down our end, everything seems to go in. And that you find yourself in these moments in a football league season, just because at the beginning of the season it looks an awful lot worse. We got a point away at Ipswich many moons ago, um, which kick-started a real positive run. I'm hoping that point in the day put a little bit, stopped the rot a little bit. We hadn't, had a, we hadn't drawn a game so far this season, up until that point. And I'm really positive. Uh, it's going to be a long season, a long season, even longer with the players who got out injured. Um, We've already probably paid for another scanner with the amount of money we've got to spend on it. So maybe with the money that we're spending, they can get another one and just put one in the building for us. Yeah, just move it over here. There is a, a chink of light at the end of the tunnel because Sam Bulldog is a little step closer. It's not, he's not ready for Tuesday. Not, I'm not doing really, I don't get involved with how close or how yeah. far. We've got Crystal Palace tomorrow, we've got Cheltenham on Saturday. Yeah. That is the most important thing. Not who is might be available later on down the line. If you don't want to be playing a Premier League side without eight players, do Why you? Why not? Well, it'll be a challenge. It's, it's yeah. increasing the challenge for you. Yes, and, and we're good at that. That's an Oxford United trait. It's make it a little more difficult for yourselves and see how you react. We know it's going to be one of the most difficult games of the season because of the calibre of the opposition. And we also know what we have out in India is, is extraordinary for, for this situation. But it's not, it's not, it is what it is. It, you can't change it. You, you have to play the cards you've been dealt with. They might not be great. You've got to find a way of making it work. And you just got to make sure that you do the right things with the players who are available. 